I'm Trishna Bagan. And I'm Casey Kantz, the general manager of the Shenanigans Nightclub and Colony, now facing federal charges. According to the Justice Department, he is accused of drug and sex trafficking. News 10 ABC's Karina Dominguez has more on the investigation. That FBI investigation is ongoing. However, experts say that it highlights that these legal establishments oftentimes have illegal activities going on. Neighbors in the area did not want to go on camera, but they say there has always been a lot of activity at shenanigans. One neighbor said it's about time authorities did something about it. They say that FBI raid was not surprising to them. Former shenanigans dancers echoed that, saying the club was sketchy. Some saying they were aware illegal activity was happening and left because of that. A lot of legal establishments have trafficking or illegal activity going on inside them. Trafficking takes place in plain sight and two of the biggest culprits in the trafficking industry are the pornography industry and strip clubs. Renee Hank is the anti-trafficking coordinator for Safe Inc. of Schenectady. She says there's a strong correlation between drugs and trafficking. Traffickers who kept their victims incredibly dependent on their substances and they would, you know, kind of threaten to take them away or they would keep them high to lower their inhibitions and kind of convince them to do something they might not otherwise be doing. Kevin Doherty is the executive director and describes how the program helps victims. Intensive case management, help them find housing, help them find jobs, help them learn to be safe. He says victims of trafficking are usually coerced into it and targeted by criminals. Hank urges anyone in need of help to reach out to a local or national hotline. You know, asking a medical professional, if you come across a medical professional, asking them for help firemen, ENTs, anything like that, any first responder that you come across, they can help you. Reporting in Colony, Karina Dominguez, News 10 ABC.